I'm Danny702 and welcome to Las Vegas. Are you ready for a ride to the newest bars in town? There is always new things popping up in Las Vegas, but I'm gonna take you to the most anticipated and freshest bars that just opened up here in Las Vegas. A continuation from my last video, but this one focuses on mostly brand new bars in town. So buckle up because we're about to bar hop, cheesecake crawl, and dive into some swashbuckling fun. From trendy hotspots to hidden gems, I've got it all lined up for you, so grab your cocktail and let's dive in. Our first stop is located on the Las Vegas Strip, right in front of the Fashion Show Mall, where Happy Camper Pizza has just opened up with its vibrant atmosphere and mouth-watering pies. But wait, it's not just about the pizza here, it's about the whole experience. Picture yourself surrounded by retro camper vibes, disco balls, fire pits, and neon lights to set the mood. Vegas on most days has great weather to chill and have a drink on the patio, and Happy Camper is another great option just for that on the Strip. And it looks like the roof is retractable, so they can actually close this up if it's maybe raining or if it's a little too cold. And we came at the most perfect time because it's about 3.30, which means it's happy hour. Here's a look at their menu. At the top, they have their signature cocktails and then the list of their draft beers. As you can see in the very middle, it lists their happy hour, which is three to six Monday through Thursday. Select drafts will cost about $5 during happy hour and they've got about three cocktails. That's gonna be $9 instead of 16. And then as far as the food goes, they do have a few different types of appetizers. They are known for their pizza though. And then they've got salads and then a few items that's not pizza, just about three of those. I got the Trailer Park Queen, which is Prosecco, Elderflower, and Lemon. And then Eddie got the Las Vegas Lager, which is from Big Dogs Brewing Co., a local brewing company. I'm not much of a wine drinker. I do really enjoy sparkling wines though and champagne. I like that it has the carbonation to it because it makes it a lot more refreshing, but definitely Definitely can taste the Prosecco in this. Not much of the elderflower. And during happy hour, the hummus plate was $5, normally $14. So it's hummus, of course, served with vegetables and pita bread. Looks like the hummus has feta and maybe olive oil and olives and peppers in there. That looks really good. There's a lot on this plate for $5. That, that's kind of a, I mean, you can share that with me. At least two people. And also for $5 during happy hours, we got the Jalapeno Homies, which has cream cheese, bacon, cheddar, tomato, and a side of barbecue sauce. It's pretty really good. I do like the cheese on it, the melted cheese, and it's just nice and warm. The added barbecue sauce just like made it 10 times better. For whatever reason, the barbecue sauce with jalapeno, I don't ever think I've had that combination before. Maybe in a burger, actually, now that I think about it. I think that Happy Camper is going to be a really great spot during the summer. Everything we had was so refreshing. But let's head on to the next stop. Since we're out here on the north end of the Las Vegas Strip, we gotta make a pit stop at Junior's, the newest cheesecake stop on the boulevard. Junior's is an acclaimed bakery from New York, and they just opened up their first West Coast location right here inside of Resorts World. Now this location opened up about three months ago, and it's located around the casino floor of Resorts World. Now I know what you're thinking, isn't this supposed to be a bar tour? Well fear not my friends, because when you're in Vegas, you can't ignore the temptation of the dessert options. And why not pair your cocktail with a decadent dessert? I hear their cheesecakes are a must try. Junior's is known for cheesecake, but it also offers a full menu. And to stay on theme, the restaurant does also have a full service bar with curated cocktails. Uh, it's a restaurant, you can get a seat. They do have a full menu, breakfast, lunch, and a dinner. But they also have a walk-up bakery. And look at these absolutely crazy looking desserts. This is huge. The fresh strawberry cheese pie looks pretty amazing. Here is the famous original cheesecake. I think that's what we're gonna do. But then they also have cake in a cup, apple crumb cheesecake, brownie explosion cheesecake, and carrot cheesecake. Devil's food cheesecake, carrot cake again, I'm on the opposite side, chocolate mousse cheesecake. Ooh, there's a diabetic friendly Dutch apple pie. This one would be for any chocolate lover. Oh my God. Chocolate fudge layer cake. 
I like the little one there, the cherry cheesecake, cookies and cream, blueberry, and red velvet. They have more items in the back there, like those black and whites, those look massive. Looks like maybe muffins on top. It also looks like they have coffees and maybe sweet tea and lemonade. Yeah, unboxing of Junior's here. So for $9.95, they did charge me a 50 cent service fee. I got the slice, a slice of their original cheesecake. And he also went in and got the cake in a cup. Which was their strawberry cheesecake? Yeah, well, these different ones, just a broken one. That's they right. Put them in a cup. Oh, how cool is that? So they're broken up cheesecake. This ended up being $6, so that's a steal. It's really, really dense and rich. I think that it's lacking the graham cracker crust, which I know technically real cheesecake isn't supposed to have. But the actual texture of it is great. Dense, smooth as hell, and it's got a good flavor. But if you don't like cheesecake, you can always get a donut here at Randy's. From LA, they got a Randy's Donuts right next to Junior's. Randy's Donuts is a popular spot in Los Angeles. This actually might look familiar to you. They have a few spots in Las Vegas now, but it's not fresh enough to be on my new list for today's theme. When it comes to sweets, Donuts might be among my favorite. We set sail just a few miles down the road and we are now here in downtown, which we are in the arts district of downtown. And our next stop takes us to a brand new bar, the Stray Pirate. Now this isn't your typical dive bar. Be prepared to be transported to a world of the pirate lore with weather decor and themed cocktails. All right, this is a Friday ball. We just walked in, they said have a seat anywhere. We were able to find a booth in the corner. Kind of this really cool vibe in here. This spot opened about two months ago, and this is my first time coming here, but it's been on my list since they opened. Actually, since they announced that they were opening. The one thing that I'll get me to come to your bar is definitely theming. I am a huge fan of themed bars, themed restaurants, themed anything, so I hear this is right up my alley. It's like we had gone under, like sunken under. Some of the mugs and cups that you can get that say Stray Pirates, downtown Las Vegas. These are really cool. I can see how this place can get very, very busy. It is currently a Thursday, and I believe it's about 6.30 p.m. On the way over to the restroom, there's like a little grotto over here an area where you can get a fun pick. So they've got original cocktails for 15. The classics also for 15. They have draft beers, looks like about $8. Bottles and cans around five to nine. The amount of crossbones here is gonna tell you the cocktail strength. So if you wanna get something on the lighter side, the Goonies Never Say Die is gonna have one skull and crossbones. But then over here, you can get the zombie that has three. So Eddie ended up getting Getting the Goonies Never Say Die, but he got it in a mocktail version. So it doesn't come with the rum blend, but it does come with fresh squeezed lime, orange and grapefruit, pineapple, honey, and some bitters. And I got the Get It Kraken, which has Bar Strength Chicago, if I'm saying that correctly. It also has passion fruit, coconut, fresh squeezed lime, and also lime kefir. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a very tropical drink. Definitely very strong. I think this one had breeze scroll and crossbones on there. I'm not familiar with the alcohol that's in this though, but it's it's really good. The only negative I would have to say is that we still had to pay $15 for Eddie's drink, even though it has no alcohol in it. So they charge us the full price for the mocktail version, but it's still a really good drink. Definitely really cool theming in that spot. We still have one more spot to go to though, so let's go. Last but certainly not least, we are back on the Las Vegas Strip over at the Horseshoe, which used to be Valley's, because Old Red had just opened up. Inspired by country star Blake Shelton's hit song, Old Red, this is a multi-story complex entertainment venue slash bar slash restaurant. There are three interior bars and a rooftop bar just in this one spot. It is pretty huge. And you can see it is a popular spot as there is a line. It's just to put your name in. But three stories, lots of tables on each level. You'll find live country music featuring both established and up-and-coming artists. 
And Blake Shelton is known to occasionally handpick artists and even make surprise appearances here at Old Red. Old Red aims to capture the feel of a lively honky tonk with a modern twist, and it's a great option for country music fans, but also anyone looking for a fun and energetic atmosphere. Now we got sat on the second level. We're right against the railing, so you can see the stage down there. Every level looks like it has a bar, and then almost every level has a patio as well. We're gonna have to go up there though after we eat so we can check out that view of the strip. So you got the Bellagio Mountains right across the way. That's gonna be pretty cool. A lot of their drinks come in a souvenir glass, so buy a drink, keep the glass. But there are some house favorites down here, $16 that do not come in a souvenir glass. They have you scan a QR code at the table for the menu, but I ordered the Trash Talkin' Taco Salad at $19. This has taco meat, tortilla chips, romaine, corn salsa, black beans, tomatoes, shredded cheddar cheese, black olives, I asked for no onions, but it has jalapenos, avocado cream, and a chipotle ranch to top it off. Then my mom ordered the pulled pork barbecue sandwich, which also had vinegar slaw, pickles, and on a potato bun. And it came with the side, which she chose the hash brown tater tots. This was also at $19, and both of our meals were probably the cheapest entrees that you can find on the menu. We ended up moving locations because it was so loud out there. But the patio here is really nice. We've got the sun going. It's about 65 degrees right now in Las Vegas, so it's really nice. You can see the Eiffel Tower behind me. We've got the horseshoe over here. So far, so good with my salad. It my mom said that her burger was really good. I did have a bite of the like hack around tater tots things and that was pretty good too. I think Old Red makes a really good addition to the bizarre shops here. The bizarre shops before seemed very bare, but there's a lot more traffic coming through and then you can see here they're actually building even more. I believe there's a sign on the, on the side that says in 2025 there will be another restaurant located right here. I mean that is prime real estate. Now we made it up to the rooftop bar. So it is four levels, three levels of indoor and then the fourth level will be strictly a rooftop. So you do have a bar on the right hand side and a whole separate stage on the left over here. But check out this beautiful view. When the Bellagio fountains are going off, I'm sure that is pretty amazing. You got Caesars over here. Beautiful day though. I love all of the rooftop and patio bars that we have out here in Las Vegas, especially when we have the warmer weather. It's just a really nice vibe to be able to see all of the resorts around you. And then at nighttime, of course, too, with all the lights on. Now also on the third level is gonna be 21 and over only. So this is strictly a bar area. Ooh, you can go out on that patio too. All right, we're going out there. Look at this, this is really cool. Oh, I like this a lot. The sun is over on this side, so it feels really nice. Okay, I am digging this a whole lot. This is a really cool view. Seriously, it just keeps getting better. The second level was pretty cool. The fourth level rooftop bar was really cool. But the third level patio is freaking where it's at. This is an epic view. Oh, this would be absolutely amazing at nighttime with all the lights on. And then of course, once the Bellagio starts going off again. So there you have it, folks. A whirlwind tour of some of the freshest finds in Las Vegas. Vegas. Remember, Vegas is not just about the casino and shows. It's about discovering hidden gems, embracing new experiences, and making memories that will last a lifetime. And I'm here to help you on that journey. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more adventures in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas. Let me know which place that you are most excited about visiting. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Peace!